friends, welcome back to my channel. It is week two of the booty challenge. I hope everyone had an amazing Thanksgiving. I know I ate hella good food. I just can't wait for it to be Thanksgiving again so I can have sweet potatoes and mashed potatoes and mac and cheese and gravy and honey glazed ham. <laughs> it was so good, I wanna do it all over again. I know I'm definitely gonna be eating leftovers for like the next week though, because for Thanksgiving, we always make such an insane amount of food, it could literally feed a village. But it is Monday, it is December already, so it is the start of a new month, a new week, and we gotta get back on track and get those booty gains, girl. Mm. I'm obviously in the mood for Christmas since I'm wearing red. I'm feeling very festive. Ah. All I'm missing is the Santa hat. Um, this red set for Women's Best is so cute. And honestly, it makes the best Christmas present for your friend or your mom, especially since January is like the time to start our fitness journeys. What is a better present than getting someone some really cute activewear or even some supplements that they've been wanting to help kind of push them in the right direction for their fitness journey for January. So you already know the activewear is hella, hella cute. They have so many colors to choose from. The power collection, the move collection. Oh, living for it. My personal favorites would be the red, the pink, the lilac, the blue, and the green. <laughs> I'm basically listing all of them. Oh, I'm so crazy. But anyway, if you're looking for an idea of what to gift, your bestie as a Christmas present, you know that Woman's Best has got you with so many options that you know they will love. All right guys, so let's go ahead and go right into the workout. Today we are using ankle weights and dumbbells for the workout. Make sure you do your glute activations. I have a video on my channel that takes you through glute activations and talks about you know what they are, how they work. So make sure you watch that first and you do the glute activations and let's get this booty pop in. Yeah. So we're going to start off with donkey kicks. We're going to be doing 12 on each side. So you have to remember that your ankle weights have to be heavy enough. Okay, so that's why I always tell you guys to try to get the 20 pound pair. But I know not everyone has access to that. So if you must, you should try to put both ankle weights on one leg to the point where it's heavy enough. Like already at 12 reps, you should feel it burning. If your ankle weights aren't heavy enough, I would recommend to instead do... Um, a little bit more than 12. I know for muscle growth, the optimum is to do eight to 12 with a heavy enough weight, but it's better to do a little bit more if you can than to do eight to 12 with a light weight, if that makes sense. So just make sure the weight is heavy enough, but if it's not, do a little bit more. But hopefully you have a weight that is challenging enough for you. I, I believe you can also do these in a gym with a machine that allows you to do kickbacks. So. Ready? We're gonna go ahead and do 12 ankle weights on each side. So here, the point is to do the form right and to do it nice and slow. This way you can actually feel it in your muscle because with this weight, I can probably breeze through like 50 doing them like that. That's not what we're doing. So you're gonna bend at the um, heel, at the foot, and you're gonna go up nice and slow, squeeze at the top, come back down. Really squeeze for a second at the top. That is key here. Next, up, go up. Back down, go nice and slow. Keep your upper body still. Whew. Let's go. How you do these is more important than how many you do. So if you're doing them correctly, it'll benefit you much, much more than doing a bunch incorrectly. It's five. Kick up all the way, six. Seven. Let's go, keep going. This is 10, got two more. Oof. And 12, come back down. You see, these egg boys aren't even that heavy. They're like eight pounds per leg, but because I'm doing it right, and I'm squeezing at the top and I'm focusing everything in my brain on using the glutes, I feel it a lot. But if I were to do these with bad form or just kind of do them fast and breeze right through them, I wouldn't feel it at all. So the mind to muscle connection is so freaking important, especially if you're working with a limited amount of equipment or a limited amount of weight. So let's do the other side. 
on your elbows here, bend at the knee, squeeze up, back down. Keep going. Nice and slow, all the way up. I know when this gets hard, it's tempting. Your body wants to lose its form and just overcompensate, but try not to do that. Try to focus on using your booty. This is eight. Ten. Two more. And twelve. All right, good job. Catch your breath. Next up, we are doing leg circles. All right, for the leg circles, you're going to start out with your leg right behind you. We're going to go up like this. So the most important thing here is that you keep your hips squared to the floor. All right, you're not going like this. That means absolutely nothing. You have to keep your leg, your hips squared, leg up, squeeze, and we're gonna do a circle about a foot in diameter here. So we're doing 12 on each side. Again, remember the mind to muscle connection. That's gonna be the most important part here. So we're gonna be doing the circles going outward like this. So ready, leg up, Squeeze, you should be squeezing the whole time. Let's do 12. Nice and slow. Watch how the rest of my body does not move or it moves very little. It's not doing this, okay? I don't want you doing that. Stay still, it's four. If your leg and everything else is shaking, you're doing it right. Five. Let's go. Nine, almost there, let's go, keep going. 10, two more. Watch your form. And come back down. Whew. Wow, okay. Catch your breath, let's do the other side. All right, once you're ready, leg behind you, go up, squeeze, and circle. Squeeze. Keep your core tight. We're at six. Oof. This is ten. Two more. And twelve. All right. Good job. So now we're gonna go ahead and take the ankle weights off because we're doing today's workout as a circuit. But you're supposed to repeat this whole circuit two or three more times. I know it might get annoying to take off your ankle weights and put them back on every single circuit. So if you would like to, you can pause the video right now and repeat the two exercises we just did two more times in a row. So do the donkey kicks, leg circles, and then donkey kicks again, and then leg circles, and then do the rest of this workout in the same circuit style. So do the rest of the three exercises kind of in a row. But if you're doing it as a circuit with me and you don't mind taking off your ankle weights, let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise. All right, next up we are doing fire hydrants with a dumbbell. I will show you how to do that right now. So we're staying on the floor. So go ahead and grab your dumbbell or you can grab any kind of weight, like an ankle weight or something you can put in between your leg. Or alternatively, if you don't have a dumbbell you can put between your legs or if it's not comfortable for you, you can do this with a resistance band around your legs. But I like doing it with a dumbbell because I feel like when I do it this way, it isolates my glutes more. Like when I use a resistance band, I find myself using my thighs to help get my leg up there. So this is just my preferred way of doing it, but you can do it either way. So we're doing 12 on each side. So again, with the fire hydrant, we're putting our leg out to the side while it's bent. You have to keep your core tight and your back straight. So we're not rotating our upper body throughout the exercise. We're keeping it kind of strong and facing the floor. So once you're ready, squeeze the dumbbell between your leg like this. Be careful here, please. Don't drop the dumbbell on your own foot or break your floor. That would not be good. So make sure you really squeeze hard. You're gonna go up, back down. So we're doing 12 in total on each side. So go up, back down. So you can go up, hold for a second, slowly come down. 
four, five. Don't let your form get sloppy. This is 10, two more. And 12. All right, let's switch the dumbbell over to the other leg. All right, ready? Squeeze your leg. And again, like with the other exercises, um, you can play around with the positioning of your bottom leg. So if you move a little forward or you move a little back, you'll feel it in different places of your body. So once you're ready, go up to the side. Come back down. This is five. Whew. Let's go, focus. Nine. Three more. It's okay to take a break. And 12. Come back down. All right. Whew. Okay, catch your breath. Now we're going to go ahead and get on up for the next exercise. So next up we are doing sumo squats. I've got both dumbbells in my hands here. So for the sumo squat, you're going to make sure you get into a wide position. Putting on either a little bit uncomfortable because they're so long, but they're made to be like really heavy. Um, you're going to get into a wide stance position with your toes pointed slightly outward, not anything crazy, but slightly outward. You're going to hold the dumbbells in between your legs. You're going to go down, come back. There's no comfortable. Hold on. All right, I guess I'll hold them here. So holding them here like this, and go down, come back up. So 12 in total. Dumbbells back down here. Roll these out of the way. And we're gonna finish up with everyone's favorite exercise a jumping exercise. <laughs> we're gonna be doing 20 hopping lunges with a bounce. I love to finish all my circuits with some kind of jumping exercise because I find that this one is really like the only exercise without any weight that I feel like works your muscles a lot. I mean, just look at ballerinas um, and gymnasts. They are like ripped and it's because they're just jumping all the time. So let's get to it. So we're going to be doing, doing a jumping lunge. You're going you're gonna to hop into a lunge. You're going to bounce here and then switch. So bounce and switch. All right. So we're doing 20 total. Get yourself ready. And then we're going to do the circuit two more times. You're going to rewind the video to the beginning of the workout and repeat the circuit. Seriously, though, do it. Okay, don't just exit out and go along, go. <clears throat> Seriously though, do it. Don't just exit out of this video, you know, and go about your day. Do this at least one or two more times because believe me, in order to really see your results, you have to push yourself. Like a five to 10 minute workout every day is, or five to 10 minute workout is not gonna be enough to give you the results you want, all right? You gotta repeat this at least one or two more times. So. Ready? I'm gonna go down into a lunge position. We're gonna bounce and switch. Bounce and switch. Let's go. 20 in total. Five. Come on, let's go. Eight. Nine. We're already at 10, halfway through. Your circuit of week two of the 
booty challenge. So like I said, go ahead and repeat this a few times. Don't forget to get your protein in, especially since we're focused on growing your booty and growing your muscles. Protein is essential as well as carbs and everything, but protein especially. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week or maybe this week if I release another video. Not sure yet, but turn that little bell on so you don't miss a video if I release one. <laughs> see ya.